The Enchanted Toy Shop, a tale of magic, adventure, and friendship. Indiana, the heart of a bustling town, hidden between two tall buildings, there was a small, mysterious shop that no one seemed to notice, except for children. This was Mr. Pippin's Enchanted Toy Shop, a magical place where toys weren't just things to play with, they came to life at night. Oliver and Lila, two best friends, had heard stories about the toy shop from older kids at school, but they had never been inside. The shop only appeared at certain times, and it was said that if you visited on a special night, you could have the adventure of a lifetime. One chilly evening, as Oliver and Lila were walking home from school, something caught their eye. At the end of the street, a faint glow was coming from a small building that hadn't been there before. Look, Lila pointed. It's Mr. Pippin's toy shop. I knew it was real. Oliver's heart raced. Let's go inside. We might never get another chance. The two friends ran toward the glowing shop, their excitement growing with every step. As they reached the door, they hesitated for just a moment, then pushed it open. A small bell above the door jingled, and they stepped inside. The toy shop was unlike anything they had ever seen. The shelves were filled with every kind of toy imaginable, stuffed animals, wooden trains, dolls, action figures, and even toy castles. But the most amazing part was the air itself. It shimmered with magic. It felt like anything could happen. Welcome, welcome, a cheerful voice called out. Oliver and Lila turned to see a kindly old man with twinkling eyes and a big, warm smile. He wore a bright red vest and had silver hair that looked like it was sprinkled with stardust. I'm Mr. Pippin, he said, bowing slightly. And you, my young friends, have chosen the perfect night to visit. Is it true? Lila asked, her voice filled with wonder. Do the toys here come to life? Mr. Pippin chuckled. Oh, they certainly do, but not just any night. Tonight is a special night, the night of the toy parade. It's when the toys wake up, go on grand adventures, and celebrate being loved. And tonight, you two will join them. Oliver's eyes widened. We're going on an adventure with the toys? Mr. Pippin nodded, his eyes twinkling. Follow me and you'll see. He led them to the back of the shop, where a beautiful, old-fashioned carousel stood, its painted horses gleaming in the soft light. But instead of staying still, the horses were moving, slowly, as if they were just waking up. With a wave of his hand, Mr. Pippin brought the carousel to life. It spun gently, and as it did, the toys from the shelves began to climb down and gather around. Teddy bears, dolls, toy soldiers, and more all lined up, ready for their grand adventure. Wow! Oliver whispered, staring at the lively toys. Mr. Pippin handed each of them a small, glowing key. These are your magic keys, he explained. They will let you travel with the toys and unlock the wonders of the adventure ahead. Excited and curious, Oliver and Lila held their keys tightly. With Mr. Pippin's guidance, they climbed onto the carousel, joining the toys. As soon as they sat down, the carousel spun faster and faster until, whoosh, they were no longer in the toy shop. They found themselves in a magical world, a place where the sky sparkled with stars and the ground was made of soft clouds. Around them, the toys came to life in ways they had never imagined. The teddy bears marched in formation, the dolls danced in elegant gowns, and the wooden soldiers guarded shimmering castles made of candy. This is incredible, Lila exclaimed, laughing as a group of stuffed animals tumbled past them, giggling and playing. Oliver grinned, watching as toy planes zoomed overhead, leaving trails of glitter in the sky. The adventure had only just begun. With the magic keys in hand, Oliver and Lila joined the toys on a series of amazing quests. They explored towering forests made of building blocks, sailed across seas of marbles in tiny toy boats, and even helped a group of lost toy animals find their way back to the toy kingdom. Everywhere they went, they were met with joy and laughter. The toys treated them like old friends, and Oliver and Lila quickly realized that this wasn't just an adventure, it was a celebration of friendship, imagination, and the magic of being a child. As the night wore on, they arrived at the toy castle, the grandest part of the toy kingdom. 
It was made entirely of toy bricks, and at the top of the tallest tower was the Star of Wishes, a glowing star that granted one special wish to anyone who found it. Make a wish, Mr. Pippin said, smiling at them from the steps of the castle. The Star of Wishes only appears once during the toy parade, and it's yours to wish upon. Oliver and Lila closed their eyes, holding their magic keys tightly, and made their wishes. I wish for this adventure to never end, Lila whispered. I wish for us to always be friends, no matter where we go, Oliver added. When they opened their eyes, the star of wishes glowed even brighter, and a soft, magical breeze filled the air. They knew their wishes had been granted. As the night began to fade, the carousel returned to the toy shop, and the toys climbed back onto the shelves, their adventure over for now. Thank you, Oliver said, smiling at Mr. Pippin. This was the best night of our lives. Mr. Pippin chuckled. The adventure never really ends, my young friends. The magic of the toys is always with you. All you have to do is believe. With a final wave goodbye, Oliver and Lila left the shop, knowing that they would never forget their magical night in the enchanted toy shop. And as they walked home, the moonlight shimmering above them, they knew that as long as they believed in magic, there would always be another adventure waiting.